What's going on guys, Tween Timber Outdoors, and I want to talk to you guys about my most essential go-to uh, confidence bait when it comes to fishing for bass, and that is a jig. And I want to talk to you guys about when to choose what jig color, and maybe some tips and tricks on how to break down the age-old question, what do I need to bring, what color should I buy, uh, in a couple of simpler ways. So the first essential go-to jig color you need to have has to be black and blue. I call it the contrast king. It does really well in a multitude of different waters, stains, and discolorations. And honestly, it's something I have to have with me as the profile on the boat. When the water's super stained or the clarity is not that great, high profile uh, contrast from the black and blue jig uh, does a really good job of standing out compared to some of the more natural colors or some of the lighter colors as well. Add a really loud trailer, maybe some rattles, and you've got yourself a loud, obnoxious, easily uh, seen bait that most bass can't resist, even in high contra or even in uh, poor visibility and uh, stained water. So black and blue trailer, uh, maybe something a little loud to attach onto it, and you're golden for many situations. One of my favorite all year colors has gotta be green pumpkin. And sometimes you can find that in like a green pumpkin or a bluegill. Uh, I throw this a lot when the water clarity is pretty good. Uh, it's really a hard bait to beat. Uh, and I really start off with that and fish that 90% of the time. But when a black and blue is needed or when a different color scheme is needed, then that just means that the bite's not as good. I'll still get bites. When the fish sees it, they hone in and they kill it. But it's definitely something that uh, is usually more effective as well when the forage of that of those bass you're fishing for is bluegill or our bluegill or, or perch uh, some other bait fish that are you know have some good coloration to them and you can always tip it with some JJ's or whatever on the back uh, or on the bottom or the door whatever you need to do to get that fish's attention but a black or sorry a, a green pumpkin or a bluegill color is definitely a go-to in my local waters up here at North. Brown flake crawfish I don't fish this nearly as much as the other ones, but I think it's essential because when the bite is hot, the bite is hot on that, that bait. We obviously know that bass love to eat craw and crawfish, and, and it's really one of those things where when they're honed in on it, they know exactly what they want, and so they, they hunt it. So if you, if you carry one with you, on days where nothing else seems to work, but you're noticing that you see active activity and action from crawfish under the water, or you just happen to catch a fish on something else, and you see claws or you see something else, start chucking the brown flake um, or the craw imitation because there's a good chance that that fish is going to know what that is, know what it wants, hunt it, kill it, and you're going to have a great day. If you fish areas where you know, you're not fishing for maybe bluegill as the forage, but you have shad as the forage instead, you probably want to fish a white or a pearlescent uh, jig color variation. Uh, I don't get it. it, doesn't get a lot of use for me in my local lakes, but I know that if you if I take that white or that pearlescent and I go somewhere else, like uh, someplace where they're fish, where they're, where the bass are hunting alewife or they're hunting for shad, you know that's their main forage. Then it's it, you can't not have that color variation in your toolkit. So I would suggest picking up a couple, especially if you're a traveling angler. And you never know when you're going to need a white or pearlescent, especially you know if you live down south or you live in a high uh, you know, popular, an area where shad is, a, is super prevalent because it just isn't for me, but I know it's super important, so I wanted to add it to the list. So by sticking to those basic colors, you're probably going to be just fine fishing any water here in this country, at least, in the United States. Um, probably Canada as well, and if you head down south to Mexico, you might just have to change the size up. But realistically, you know, you got your high contrast, you got your naturals, you've got your... Uh, naturals for different forage options and then you have something you know once in a while to draw in the strike that's all you really need so by covering those pretty well and then having the right trailers which we'll do in a different video you're gonna be golden set and that's probably why one of the, it's one of the reasons why uh, fishing jigs is my favorite they're super versatile they allow you to do so much and I catch a lot of fish on them 
So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos in the playlist. Until next time, guys. Catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines. And we're out.